Here we go. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're asking. So, so far we've been talking about uh, the measurement of our, so far we've been talking about the measurement of our central angles. And our, I'm sorry, our minor arc and our major arc, right? But now what they're asking us to do is find actually the length, the distance from one endpoint to the next. They're not asking for what the angle measure is. They're asking for what is actually the length from one midpoint to our one endpoint to the next. And in this problem, that um, for number 19, it was for, what are they asking for? The length of what? KLM? KLM of the end. All right, and if and DM is nine millimeters. Okay, so D to M is nine millimeters. What we notice is that's the center, that's the end. That is going to be the radius, right? D to M is the radius, and then we're trying to find the actual length from K to L to M. Now, if you guys remember the formula for length, which I gave last class period, length equals x over three hundred and sixty degrees times 2 pi r. Okay, So now we just need to determine, well, what is then the measure of KLM? And if we look at this, k to l to m, remember that's going to be the central angle. Well, if part of the central angle is 100, the other part 60, we know that's going to be 160. So l equals 160 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 times pi times our radius, which is 9. So now I just take my calculadora, and I do 160 divided by 360 times 2 times pi times 9. And when I do that, and I round it to the 100th, I believe I get 25.43. So the length from k to m through l is going to be 25.13. And that's in millimeters. Since we're dealing with distance, it's just going to be millimeters, not millimeters squared, which would be for area, or millimeters cubed, which would be for volume. Does that make sense? So for 